Hey, what's up everybody? This is Cam Jennings coming at you on behalf of EpicConversions.com. Hope you guys are doing amazing out here. It's about 9 a.m. and I'm getting a walk in. It is freezing out here. It's not below freezing, I don't think. I think it's like 35 or 36 degrees. It is misting slash raining out here. I'm layered up. I have three jackets on. It's not fun. I'm just doing what I gotta do, guys. I'm just doing what I gotta do. That's what it is. That's how it is this morning. Just doing what I gotta do. I wanna talk to you guys about education today. You know, you don't hear a lot of people talking about the balance between education and productivity. You really don't. It's not necessarily a sexy subject, but it is definitely a subject that will help you be a lot more effective and a lot more successful. Before I get into this any further, I want to remind everybody to go to epicconversions.com, sign up for my email newsletter. It's free. I like to think I put my best free content by email. So be sure to get over epicconversions.com, sign up. Stay till the end of this episode and I'll give you a couple reasons why you shouldn't sign up for my email newsletter because it's not for everybody. Back to education. Um, here's the thing. Honestly, guys, I don't know anybody who is successful in this business that doesn't invest in their education. And that's just the, the God's honest truth. I don't know anybody who doesn't invest in their education pretty heavily, you know? I mean, the thing about that I've learned is that I'm constantly learning. There is no, like, schools out. There is no graduation. Like, educating yourself just becomes a part of your your life. Now, the other part of that is that you have to, like, educating yourself on things that are happening in your space is part of it, right? Then the other part of that is deciding what things that you're learning about do you actually want to take action on and implement into your plan of action, right? And that takes a judicious hand, right? You really have to think about, you know, how things might affect your business or how it applies to your business. And to do that, you really have to have a firm understanding of what the identity of your business is. You need to know what it is. Because if you don't know what it is, you're gonna be flailing around, educating yourself on all kinds of crap, trying to implement all kinds of crap, none of it very effectively. And it's just gonna be a madhouse. It's not gonna work, basically. Or if it is gonna work, it's gonna work very, very minimally. In online business, what I've found is that imperfect action wins. Education amplifies that imperfect action. It amplifies whatever you're doing. It makes it better. It gives you a higher probability of success. That's what education can do for you. It's like taking your imperfect action and putting it on steroids. It gives you an advantage. Now me, personally, I've always been kind of a cheapskate. I don't like spending a lot of money. So, you know, I floundered around at the bottom for a long time, you know, just collecting free information. And I did pretty okay on free information. Um, One thing that I did do while collecting free information 
that I wasn't aware of because I did achieve some success just using free information. And you can. You can achieve some success using free information. But one thing I was doing that I didn't really think about was the fact that uh, I was developing this mindset that I didn't need to invest in my education. Like free information was enough. And, and free information, you know, it's not always it's not always enough. And the reason I say that, well, look, eventually free information is definitely not going to be enough, especially if you sell information. If you're in the business of selling information and selling strategies, when all you want to do is collect free information all the time, you're subconsciously putting it in your mind that, you know, you don't need to buy anything. Well, the problem with that is you're going in direct conflict with that when you try to sell information. So now essentially, you're asking people to do something that you won't do yourself. You want to sell a $100 course? Well, have you ever invested in a $100 course? You want to sell $1,000 coaching? Well, have you ever invested in $1,000 coaching? Or did you feel like you didn't need to? You want to sell a $97 a month print newsletter? Well, have you ever bought a $97 a month print newsletter? You know? Because if you've never bought those things because you feel like they're too expensive or they're a ripoff or you can do it without it, then how do you expect to sell those things? I mean, truly, how do you expect to sell them? Because in my experience, when I sell things, I truly have to believe in those things. I have to believe that the things I'm selling literally will help people and this is the answer they need. I believe that. How can you believe that when you have never invested in anything like that before? So, for that reason alone, I think it's important to invest in your education. Can you get things for free? Yeah, you can find things for free. I've put a lot of free information out. The information I'm giving you guys right now is free. Most people won't really pay much attention to it, you know? The information I'm giving you right now, you know, a few people might watch some of it on social media. The same information can be put in a thousand dollar mastermind and people would make hundreds of thousands of dollars off these, this simple concept. People find value when they pay money. People don't necessarily find value when they're not, when not pay, paying anything for anything. You know, they're not paying that much attention. They don't have that much skin in the game. So, I wanted to give you kind of an alternate reason why education is important, um, and not just free education. Education that you actually pay for, um, and it's a reason I've actually never heard anybody talk about, um, and that is this idea that how can you sell something? if you wouldn't buy that thing yourself, right? So, anyways, uh, that's just, a, just, just one of the many reasons why it's important to keep educating yourself. Obviously, you know, uh, imperfect, relentless action is what's gonna win you the day, but all the education that you do and that you take part in amplifies that imperfect action. It makes it a lot more, um, a lot more, uh, able a lot closer to being successful, um, you know, it makes it a lot like higher higher probability of achieving success um, with your education. Again, there's a balancing act. There's a tightrope between education and productivity. You can't just sit around and educate yourself all the time. You have to actually take action. You have to actually get out there and do things. Um, but again, as far as like education is concerned, yeah, I mean you need it. It amplifies what you're doing. 
And on top of that, you have to consider the fact that it's probably going to be hard for you to sell something when you've never bought something at that price before. If you want to sell something at a certain price, it's going to help you a whole lot if you bought something at that price before. So that's what I'd say about that. Just you know, little words of wisdom for you, something to think about. Um, oh, I promised you guys I'd tell you why you don't belong on my email list. You don't belong on my email list if you don't like getting three to six emails a week because that's usually what I send out. Fairly regularly, I send out emails. Um, you don't belong on my email list if you don't want any links to promote anything uh, because I usually always am promoting something in my email inbox. Now, I don't usually do a lot of affiliate promotions. I'll be honest with you. I'm usually promoting my own stuff. Um, you know, and there's that's a whole other reason why I don't do a lot of affiliate promotions. That's a whole other topic for another day. Um, but yeah, I don't do a ton of affiliate promotions anymore. Um, um, why else do you not belong on my email list? Um, if you don't like uh, kind of like long, meandering, story-driven emails that kind of like um, teach as they also entertain, um, you probably don't belong on my email list. If you like just go here, buy this emails, you don't belong on my email list because that's not the kind of emails I write. I don't do the whole go here, buy this email. That's not an email I really... I really do. Even when I try to do a go here by this email, um, it usually ends up being 500 words. So um, that's just not what I like to do. I like to have a conversation with my email list. My newsletters are about conversations. So anyways, that's just me. If you don't like those things, you don't belong on my email list. However, if this conversation here has resonated with you and you enjoy topics like this, you probably do belong on my email list. So get over to epicconversions.com and sign up, and I'll see you in the inbox. All right now, peace.